What's up, bodybuilding, sports fans, and muscle meds enthusiasts? Enthusiasts. It is uh, that time again, cardio, and uh, just trying to get it done. We are getting ready for the Olympia. We're still about eight weeks out, and um, and they say. The road of a thousand steps, you know, starts with, the road of a thousand miles starts with one step, I guess. Um, man, I got a long road to go. It feels like we've come so far, and it feels like there's still so much to do. Not a whole lot of time, but an eternity. Um, you know, for a lot of people, this is just entertainment. You know, for a lot of people, this is just something to talk about for the moment, and then tomorrow there'll be something else. But for the people that are getting ready as the athletes, the gladiators that are climbing into the pit or preparing to climb into the trenches. This is everything, you know. There's so many lessons learned to get to this point and so much still to learn to get beyond this point. So many things that can go wrong, so many things that can go right and it's up to you to follow through and get the job done you know, I can't imagine what it's like to be any other athlete you know, but I do know from being the athlete that I am there's a lot of things, a lot of thoughts that will go through your mind as you prepare for an experience like this, you know. And a lot of times, the stuff that you think about isn't the things that a lot of the people at home would think that you think about, you know. When a man steps on stage with a great body part, a lot of times people will take for granted that he's always had those bodies. That he's always been. And one thing that becomes hardest to see is what it took to get there. What it took to create the body parts in the first place. The reality that they had to, you had to start somewhere. And your beginnings could have been just as humble as anyone else. You know, once you achieve something, people can take for granted that you always knew. You know, after Ronnie Coleman became Mr. Olympia, by Olympia third, fourth, and fifth, a lot of times people would just expect that, oh, well, it's Ronnie. You know, but before that, there could be a time when even the great Ronnie Coleman himself questioned. Could it be done? Could he do it? And though he worked as hard as he did and believed as intensely as he could, there still are those moments and seconds and hours and days where doubt can creep in. When it takes every ounce of your being to stand guard and stand against the negative thoughts, force your will in the situation and force yourself to still do the things that are important to see your dream realized and not sabotage yourself. So, as the future has not yet happened and as we are still eight weeks out, 
you know, now is the time when I find myself going through that stuff. The opponent is not outside, he's inside. You know? And you cross your T's and dot your I's. And you do the best job that you know you can do each and every day to be the success that you dream to become. But that's really the question. It's not, it's not what another man is going to do. It's what you're going to do today. A champion acts in the now. A champion becomes a champion not because of anything else other than his decision in the present as he acts in the now to do what he is supposed to do to see his dream realized. So you're not a champion by birthright. You're not a champion by a gift. You're not a champion because somebody can grandfather you in or somebody else pays the price for you. A person becomes a champion because they make the decisions each and every day, throughout the day, necessary to see their best and put their best foot forward. When you do that, then you are a champion. So the goal here is to be a champion today, all day. To do what I'm supposed to do when I know I'm supposed to do it. And to recognize that because I made the right decision two moments ago, doesn't mean that I don't have to be responsible and accountable now, two seconds later. A champion is a champion because of the decisions that he makes throughout the day, each day, all day. So, on that note, I aspire to be a champion not tomorrow, because tomorrow's not certain. Not yesterday, because yesterday is the past. I can only act in the now. And by acting in the now and doing what I'm supposed to do, making the decisions that I'm supposed to make in the present, I can shape tomorrow to be what I say it will. But I can only act in the now. These are the thoughts that run through my mind. One o'clock in the morning. I'm working to get my job done. So if you're a person out there that's working to see your dream realized. Recognize that you don't have to be held hostage. By the failures of yesterday. Because yesterday is the past. And if you failed in the past, if you have fumbled in the past, remember tomorrow's not yet certain. Your power is acting in the now. So if you act in the now, in this moment, you can make the right decision. You can make good decisions in this moment that will help empower you to shape the future create it as you want it to be. You can reinvent yourself if you fumbled in the past. And you do not have to be held hostage to the failures of yesterday. And if you have succeeded in the past, it doesn't mean that you will automatically succeed in the future, but it does mean though that you have access to a blueprint to your success. I believe 
that blueprints to my success are learning how to act in the now. So if you didn't know, I offer that to you. Hopefully there'll be some fruit for you. Until next time, good luck. Let's keep encouraging each other. Let's keep it positive.